Hello, my Dell Shakes family, Newton Buchanan here, bringing you another edition of Text Exchange Tuesday. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this one. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, I have one from Caliban, who I will be portraying uh, next summer, fingers crossed, um, in Dell Shakes' production of The Tempest um, for the Summer Festival in Rockwell Park. And um, Caliban is... He's called a monster a lot in the show. Um, his background, his story is that Prospero took control of the island using magic um, and found a young Caliban and raised him up and taught him how to speak and all these different things. Um, but now Caliban is trying to revolt against, against Prospero because um, he isn't very nice to him. Um, among other things, which you'll, I'm sure, find out as you watch the show. But historically, he's kind of considered to be a, a base character, just because of what is said about him. However, um, Shakespeare gave him some of the most eloquent um, uh, speech and vernacular in the play. To the point where you are sometimes confused. Is this the same monster that everyone's referring to? And there's a particular passage that he gives where he's talking about the island. And Caliban, uh, being very native to this island, is um, sees beauty in that. He sees beauty in that which we might not um, understand or in what we might fear. And I think there's something really beautiful about his perspective. And I think it's a really great way of highlighting how there's always uh, more to to what we see yeah and um and also that our our spirits are always trying to escape um and 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 traverse into something higher than ourselves and that if we allow it to do that we can appreciate it and then if we can appreciate it then we can we can exude that and we can give it to others and give that magic to others and share it with others. So that's what's hitting. That's what this <laughs> passage that I'm going to read for you is is hitting for me. Um, and I hope that it, it might bring some of the same things for you as well. So here we go. <laughs> Be not afeard. The aisle is full of noises, sounds, and sweet airs that give delight and hurt not. Sometimes a thousand twangling instruments will hum about mine ears, and sometimes voices that if I had wake it after long sleep will make me sleep again. <laughs> and then in dreaming, the clouds me thought would open and show riches ready to drop upon me, that when I waked, I cried to dream again. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Thank you so much for being with me for Text Exchange Tuesday, and I'll see you around. Greetings, Dell Shakes fam. This is Salim Cooper again, uh, founder of Brevity Books Bakes with this week's Text Exchange Tuesday. I wanted to thank Newton so much for his piece that he shared with me, um, particularly when he said, looking beyond what we see on the surface and sharing that and seeing that. And it's so funny because I'm looking at, at this plant here that's dying. <laughs> um, it's seen better days. But when you said that line, I was thinking, um, it's still growing though. Even though certain branches are dying, other ones are growing. And as we reach into spring and grow into this, this beautiful weather that's coming and transpiring, um, we're looking into a new season. We're looking into ourselves. We're becoming renewed by the sun. The plants are becoming renewed as well. The sap is rising. So much is occurring and happening. Um, and with that said, the first person that I thought of when you read your piece was Rumi. So I'm going to be reading... Um, one of my favorite Rumi pieces. For those of you that don't know, he's an ecstatic poet. This is the translation by Coleman Barks. Um, and the piece that I will be reading is A Community of the Spirit. All right, let's get into it. 
There is a community of the spirit. Join it and feel the delight of walking into the noisy street and being the noise. Drink all your passion and be a disgrace. Close both eyes to see with the other eye. Open your hands if you want to be held. Sit down in this circle. Quit acting like a wolf and feel the shepherd's love filling you. At night, your beloved wanders. Don't accept consolations. Close your mouth against food. Taste the lover's mouth in yours. You moan, she left me, he left me. Twenty more will come. Be empty of worrying. Think of who created a thought. Why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? Move outside the tangle of fear thinking. Live in silence. Flow down and down in always widening rings of being. I don't know, there was just something that um, about your piece that you read that spoke to that and just the, the freedom that we don't see on the surface, the sunshine that we don't see in the darkness, the life that we don't see, and the death. So yeah.